Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with another rescue case here in my uh, private office. This one has uh, been referred to me by a restorative dentist. Um, let's go through what we have. Um, it's tooth number nine, which was restored years ago as a cementable implant uh, supported crown. Uh, it's been previously attempted by two clinicians uh, without success. Uh, let's walk through. Now I gain access after splinting the tooth with a compound, blue composite compound, to the adjacent teeth. I'm going to point out a couple things first. Number one, right at the distal lingual area, there was an abrasion previously recorded. Uh, from a, from the other attempts. There's a little bit of a drag here too. So I did inform the patient that we're right about 60% still with a true rim all the way around and we definitely have a good depth on the um, on the on the screw head itself. So and the six axis of this of the hex is still with us. So that's good news. What we're going to do is select um, uh, the proper driver and I will uh, attach the wrench to it and we'll give it a little bit of a tap to see if it comes loose. Uh, we did, I did have to gain a better access so I removed some more of the internal aspect of the crown itself both on the facial and the mesial aspect to, uh, to allow straight line access. That's the key here is we want straight line access. So again the crown's not going to come loose once the screw's out. We, that's what we want. We want to keep everything intact and then slowly remove the scaffold and then the crown will come off. We'll clean up all the parts, put a new screw in place, and take it from there. All right, so this is Dr. Jerry Como. I'll be back again, to hopefully, to show you what, what we've accomplished here. Ta take care.